Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to talk about coming out, being gay, being homosexual, being gay. I came out about around October, November, oh no, oh yeah, it's around there. Uh, seven years ago, 2010, it's 2017. Um, and I talked to my parents. I didn't have sex with any girls. I was just hiding it my whole life. I was... <clears throat> I never had a relationship with a girl. For a variety of reasons. They probably could tell. Um, they could tell I wasn't interested, I wasn't going for it. And I hid that and put it in other places. So, like, for example, I was a swimmer. So, but I kept, I swam, like, to the extent where, like, I became antisocial because I knew I was gay and I couldn't, like, I was like, I'm just going to focus on this instead. And so I don't have to worry about that issue, kind of put it under the rug. Um, and so far I have to go to a high school prom. I did go to a high school prom with this girl who I liked, who I still love. She's amazing. She's, she was funny. And hilarious, and that, and that's, and I was like, she, but she knew she didn't want to like date me and shit, um, you know. And people can tell from my mannerisms I'm gay, my voice, my vocal tone, just the way I dress, the way I talk, the way I walk, the way that. And to be honest, that can be one of the more hurtful things because. People make pres presumptions about you, and assume you're something, and when it is true, but in a negative way. Um, so girls I knew could, could tell. So I came out to my mom and my dad. At 21, after I had like my first experience with a man. And, you know, I was like, okay, as soon as I had the experience, I'm like, yep, I'm gay. Mm hmm, yep, mm hmm, this is for me. And, I, yeah, I just knew it. I just knew it. You just knew it. And, um, I had a bottle of champagne. My mom cried. I said, I was like, I couldn't. I remember, like, the my throat, like, quivering right here. Like, I, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something about, 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 about my sexuality. And it was, like, just fucking right here. I couldn't remember. I'll never forget it. And, <clears throat> like, waiting forever to say that. And then, like, they knew. Of course. My mom cried. I'm not going to have grandchildren. Well, my brothers are straight and not having grandchildren. So what's the fucking deal? Um, and that's just being hard on your psyche. My mom crying, my dad was open-minded to it initially, supposedly open-minded, but then they come out with this conservative fucking movie about how gay marriage is ruining society. Yeah, my parents, a um, year after I came out, come out with a video about how gay marriage is ruining society. A conservative Christian fucking thing, and I'm like... Oh, I know why I know I now I know why I waited till I was fucking twenty two. Or she even have sex until I was twenty two. I wish I was eighteen and nineteen in college and I had sex with every fucking person I could have sex with. Fucking yeah, I could have experimented a lot. I did not. I didn't I honestly did not. I wish I did. Um yeah, I could have experimented with a bunch of people in college. Straight guys. And and that's the thing, that's what I also wanna tell people, let people know, like if you're a there, the 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 sexuality is going to open up much more. Um, I think, yeah, if you're a straight guy and you have sex with girls ninety, eighty five, eighty percent of the time, that's that's fine. You're not really gay if you have sex with men, ten to twenty percent of the time. Like you're not gay, and I think that's okay if you do. Absolutely, you should. Everyone should. 
women should have sex with other women. Let's see what it feels like. There should be an open-mindedness there, I believe. <sighs> and no, not every everyone's going to want to do that. No way, but... Um... And it's not about sex, and that's uh, that's the problem. Um, a lot of straight people look at gay people like we can't have real intimate relationships when, you know, like my attitude about the whole thing is we're all people. Uh, and we're all fucked up in our own way, and we're all just people who are fucked up, flawed human beings, and it doesn't really matter. Like, you can't say one thing about a gender or not because we're just people. Um, so, I remember liking girls, I did like them a lot, like, I liked them for who they were, for, for, sexually, it was just wasn't there, I just didn't, I just didn't, I just don't find women's bodies attractive, I don't find, I just don't find their bodies attractive, I like men's bodies, I like the strength, I like this, you know, the big shoulders, the Stronger, the stronger build, bulkier, stronger, that kind of thing, and that's what I like. I can't help it. So, being in the gay community is a little bit more difficult. Diff it's very difficult. Because it is a community that has lived in the shadows for a very long time. Um... You know, there's some creepy 45, 50 year old men, whatever it is, you know, like, who are just creepy and who, like, live by these very harsh rules and, and some things that they had to do to survive, I believe. <sighs> Growing up in the 80s, coming out in the 80s, that kind of thing. And they have to just. And dealing with that prejudice for so long. I mean, gay marriage has only been illegal for two years. It happened in 2015 summer, it's 2017 November. About two years, so it's not like enough time for things to change. And coming, looking back on it, coming out, I don't know. I don't know if it was the best thing. I, but I, I mean, it is the best thing in the sense that I have come out, and let's just say I have cousins. I have plenty of little cousins. Let's just say one of them wants to come out, and that's fine. I don't know if they are. I don't know. No. Or any family members or any friends. Any, I'm an example. I have to be an example on some level to like, you can come out and still be okay. I mean, if people still cheat. But being raised in an entirely conservative family, they're not okay with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. Like... They'll be, they'll be fake nice to, like, exactly how my dad was. Like, oh, it's so it's fine. Yeah, that's who you are. And then fucking talk shit about how we can't get gay married and stuff like that. Like, I understand that. Like, <clears throat> you want to keep the social order, like, intact, like, according to what you want. But you can't oppress an entire group of people and deal with that. Um... It, it causes so many consequences. Gay people have the highest suicide rates. Um, trans people have the highest suicide rates. And we have to fucking be a light for them. And it's fucked up. And you can't let people do that to you. Um, so, that's what's important. That's why it's important to come out and be like, I am. You know? And... I've been, I mean, of course it's been a struggle for me. It's been a struggle for me. It's been a struggle for any gay person, but... Um, yeah, I mean, just being more comfortable with it at this point. At the seven years later, I'm more comfortable with it. It shows people who you, they are. It You have to be honest. That's the problem with being gay. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the, the bonus and the minus to it. Is you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be like, hmm. You have to step back and go, hmm. Which life do I want to live? And he had to go, hmm, okay. Well, this is the true life. This is who I really am. And I could lose everything. I could be kicked out on the street, have no family, have no friends, no source of employment, like some. And that's admirable in a lot of ways. So a lot of gay people, I mean, a lot of gay people are really into the scene and just, um, 
can, can, can engage in some extremely negative behavior, like doing hardcore drugs, having extremely promiscuous sex. Um, and that's a symptom of the pain and the shadows that people have had to live in for a very long time because of, like, religion. And the way that they're going to move forward is by more people coming out. The more people being okay with it. The more lesbian moms that you know that have, they're 40 years old and they have a 12 year old daughter and, you know, I mean, come on, like, and they adopted. The more people are visible, the better. So that's why I kind of wanted to make this because I want to be more visible. And talk about, I mean, I think that the more I get older, the more I'm like, you can't escape from this life. And you can't escape from, I guess, the gay community. Just, like, it's going to be more of your foundation of your life. Because that's who you're going to interact with. And that's who you're going to be around. No matter what you do, really. And you're kind of going to be, like, segmented off and thrown into the gay community. Which can be kind of scary. Um... So I want to let other people know, especially if you're younger, especially if you're 12 years old, don't know, like if you have slight, if you feel something like that on the inside, I just hope to, I just want to let you know, it will be hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not, I'm not going to fucking lie to you. Be like, oh, well, just do it. It'll be great. It's going to be very hard. But it will be rewarding. And you will be living your truest self. And you will know that to yourself. And that's what's most important. You can't be living other way. It will be hard. For the next 50 years. Whatever it is. It's going to get better. But it's only going to get better if we make it better. <laughs>